So it's officially March, the year is about 17% over, and you might be feeling a little bit of burnout. Not that kind of burnout. See, I don't know why burnout occurs, because it seems like we could be doing great at building habits, like waking up earlier, eating better, spending less time on our phones, things like that. But then one day, it's like a switch gets flipped, and then you've, it seems like you've lost all motivation to continue going forward. You stop eating healthy, you start hitting the snooze button, you start spending hours and hours on your phone, and it's like your body just gives up. You know, your body calls a timeout, and you're stuck wondering why. So what can we do to not experience burnout? Well, I don't have a definitive answer, but I do have some things that I do to help me when I'm experiencing it. The first thing is that I do something that takes five minutes. I wash the dishes, I put away the dishes, clear my SD cards, make my bed. You know, I do a menial task to get the ball rolling. You know when like you're going to do a workout and like you do a warm up to get the blood flowing? You know, I just do something to get my brain going basically. One thing that you should do after that menial task though is reward yourself. Now you might be saying, well, why would I reward myself for making my bed or doing the dishes? It's such a monotonous task and how dare you lecture me about rewarding myself after completing such a low level quest. Well, our brains are weird and you know, when we're in a state of burnout, our minds are very vulnerable. So we have to have some type of payoff or a reward after completing a task when in a state of burnout or vulnerability. Think of it like negotiating with yourself. If you're negotiating with someone and they're not budging, you're more likely to move on. So if you do something and you're not rewarding yourself, then you're probably less likely to do another thing because you know that there isn't a reward at the end of it. But be careful though, and make sure that you're rewarding yourself in moderation, because then you'll want to be rewarded for getting out of bed or brushing your teeth or you know something like that after the burnout phase is over. The next thing, which is something I've talked about before, is called the Pomodoro Technique. You've probably heard of it before, and basically what you do is you work for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break. This technique helps me a lot because I haven't been directly diagnosed with ADHD, but I think I might have it because I can't concentrate for long periods of time. But then when I get into the groove, like I'm in the groove. One thing I will say about it though, is that I don't set a timer for 25 minutes like some people do, but I just start working because it usually takes me about 10 minutes to get into the flow state, which is when your brain is basically working on autopilot and you know, you're working, you're working and you, and you lose track of time. You, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't set a timer because like I said, it usually takes me about 10 minutes to get into the flow state. And then that means I only get 50 minutes of actually being in the flow state. And then, you know, I get interrupted by a timer. So I just start working. And then when I lose concentration, that's when I'll take say a five to 10 minute break. After the Pomodoro technique, you have to come up with a plan. Coming up with a plan keeps you on track, but also holds you accountable for your actions. See, it's so easy to get distracted and not have a plan, but write everything down that you have to do for that day and the time that you want to have it done by. And I promise you'll make it happen. It's like your brain just shifts to another gear, like how they have unlimited gears in Fast and Furious. Make a plan and just stick to it. You'll thank me later. It also feels so good to cross something off, especially when you do two things back to back and then you cross off two things. You'll feel like all the momentum is in your favor. There is one thing that I want you to avoid when going through this whole trying to get yourself back on track thing, whatever you want to call it, and that's staying off social media. For the love of everything, please stay off social media because it'll only put you deeper and deeper into the rut that you're in because you'll be seeing things that others are doing and then you'll start comparing yourself to those people which won't make you feel any better about yourself and then you'll stay on your phone longer before you know what a couple hours have passed, it's dark and then all of a sudden it's time for bed and then you didn't accomplish everything that you wanted to do for that day, pushing you down further and further and obviously you can see how easy it is to spiral out of control. Personally, I put on a podcast to listen to when I'm working or I listen to music or, you know, I do anything that's not browsing on my phone. Sometimes I actually reward myself by eating cereal because I love it so much. Ask anybody that knows me in real life. I, I don't know if you can actually live on cereal, but I think I can live on cereal. The last thing I want you to do is be patient with yourself. I know we see all these high performing people 
Gary V, Elon Musk, you know, all these people and like we want to be like them, right? But the reality is that they've been doing whatever they've been doing for years and you probably haven't. It's perfectly okay to take your time and get it together and it's also perfectly fine to feel burnt out sometimes. You know, I bet Gary Vee and Elon Musk feel burnt out sometimes too. We're all human. You know, I've had plenty of times where I didn't feel like shooting B-roll or I didn't feel like uploading and that's okay. But, you know, you just don't let it get the best of you. Take a little break if you can, a couple hours, a day, a week, however long you feel is best and then just come back feeling refreshed. Contrary to popular belief, we don't have to be productive 24-7, 365. We can always take time to just sit back, relax, and chill every once in a while. I hope this video helps you break out of the rut you're in. I hope it gets you back on track. And above all, I hope it brought you some value. And as always, thanks for watching. What color do I put for burnout? Orange? Because it's like burning. What color? Red? Didn't we just use red though? I think we just used red. Oh, that's for the orange. We definitely haven't used orange in a while.